So first, search Putty from the search bar and then select the Putty application from here. In the place of the host name or IP address, let's type the unknown IP address that we found earlier. The port number will be 22. Please note that the default port for SSH client connections is 22. This SSH radio button will remain active. In place of saved sessions, you can give your device name here and then click on the save button to save it. So these are the list of devices that I have saved earlier. After that, click on open and it opens the terminal along with this warning pop-up window. You just need to accept it and you are done. So this is the login terminal. Let me enter my credentials here which is pi and the password is raspberry. For security reasons, typing the password will not be visible. Wow, we were able to log in. So this confirms that the unknown IP address which we found using the IP scanner belongs to Raspberry Pi 4. After a successful scan, if you don't get the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, kindly restart your Pi by switching on and off the power supply. And after waiting for a couple of minutes, rescan it. So this is the Pi terminal. We can perform all the tasks inside the Raspberry Pi device.